Do any of you feel like you are in charge of almost nothing? That what you are responsible for is so small as to almost be unworthy of you? See, that's something that's typical for us humans. We want to be in charge. We want to be responsible. We want to be creative to produce things of value. And that's why it can be so hard when it seems like our life isn't doing that. I think of when I get sick, uh, when I am ill, uh, for example, I broke my arm once, and that sense of, of limitation that I feel, that I can't even do the regular things, the things I'm used to doing, much less think of increasing and, and doing more, and I, and I need other people to help me even to just get the, the normal things done. And it really cuts against the grain of, of how I was meant to function here. Some of you may be on a kind of a, an upward movement and you are responsible for more things in life and, and that feels good. That feels like that's what you were meant to be doing. And yet at some point that roller coaster is going to start cresting and all of us are going to end up at a point of being weak and dying, really. And then what's the point of all of that responsibility and creativity that we had? Hey everybody, welcome to the Sanctus Forum. I am Michael Stewart Robb, and everybody calls me Mike, uh, so you probably should too, unless you want to join my mother, call me Michael. I do, here we are doing the conspiracy commentaries, which means we talk about Dallas Willard's The, D the Divine Conspiracy, an excellent book which you should read as early as possible in your life. And uh, a lot of people in Europe where I live haven't discovered this book yet. I do understand why it's, um, at least I understand that it's not the easiest book to read um, in your second language, and, uh, and it hasn't been translated into all European languages yet. But um, that's why we're here, we're going slow, and hopefully pointing out uh, parts that um, really you should pay attention to. Today we're talking about a section called Our Rule Extended into Eternity. And it helps answer some of those questions that I was asking at the beginning about uh, what to do when we realize how, how little our kingdom really is. And Dallas has two answers here to that. Uh, the one is that we will see an increase in our rule in what we have charge over if we are faithful with what we are doing now. God really wants to give us more and more power, more influence, more a larger uh, sphere in which um, what we want actually counts and makes a difference. That's his intent. And his intent is obviously to, to do that with us. Uh, the second thing that Dallas is going to say is you, we can't just limit our, our vision to what's going to happen in our life here before we die. There is a future hope of our, our inner drive to want to be significant. We talked about that from a, an earlier chapter. Our inner sense of wanting to be in charge, of wanting to be creative. And many of us really will not have very spectacular lives here on earth. Nobody's going to write a, a biography about our life, and, and that's okay. God is preparing a kingdom, and Dallas has this verse here out of, um, let's see here, Matthew 25, uh, where Jesus says that uh, 
now you can take over the kingdom that was assigned to you from the beginning. And he talks about this being an individualized kingdom. Kingdom's not the best word um, because we don't really have any sense of that, but perhaps if you can think of being put in charge of a large company, that's kind of what God has in mind with, with kingdom. That's really your, your destiny. So right now everything feels small. In fact, probably is small. A lot of us really are not very important people in this world. But there are two things to really notice that Dallas is trying to say to us here. Um, the first is God sees you now. He sees what you're doing and he is far more interested in what he is preparing you for than in the things that you are in charge of right now. He's interested in what you're in charge of right now, but he's mm, watching you and thinking, okay, when can I, what can I promote this person to, especially after they die, especially after they die. And the second thing is, Adela says it here right at the beginning, when we submit what and where we are to God, our rule or dominion then increases. And uh, the where we are, think, of, think again of what we were saying last time about place, about our kingdom takes, uh, ha has its sort of existence within a larger sphere. We were talking about Frank Labach and the sort of the place that God has put us in. And that's very important to God, as well as what we are doing and who we are as uh, persons right now. And we're going to submit them uh, to God. And that's what Frank Labach did, um, being a sort of isolated missionary in the Philippines. And that's what Dallas Willard did, being just, just a university professor um, in, in LA. Now, for both of their lives, um, you can see before they die, things actually have taken off and they've moved to a different level of, of influence. And that may or may not happen for us, but that's the trajectory that God would like for us to be on and has us on. Um, and that really gives quite a bit of dignity to this sort of small sphere kingdom that we are actually in charge of right now. Um, God sees it and he is watching to see if we submit it to him and allow him to bring his power and his wisdom into that. Well, uh, that's what I've got for you today. Thanks for watching. Um, next time we'll be talking about God's kingdom. And um, don't forget to like this video, um, like it uh, not only in your heart, but with your finger and, uh, and subscribe if you haven't. Um, and if you haven't gone over to sanctus.institute, it's not the best website in the world, but uh, it does have a sign up for our almost monthly newsletter. And then you can find out about these sorts of things as well as other things that we're doing uh, here in Europe with the Sanctus Institute. So uh, I look forward to the next time. Uh, see you then.